Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Silent Hill 2. That is, of course, if you have come back from uh, watching me uh, do a covering of the main scenario of Silent Hill 2, in which case, well, welcome back. If not, and if you're here to uh, see what I'm covering in these extra parts of my Silent Hill 2 Let's Play, hence the uh, EX in the, uh, in the thumbnail, then welcome regardless. So, one thing I'm going to uh, say before I uh, delve into uh, what exactly I'm going to be covering in the, this episode and maybe the next episode, if there's any more beyond this one, is that uh, there are two scenarios to Silent Hill 2. One is the main scenario where you play as James Sunderland in his journey through Silent Hill. And then there's the sub-scenario, which the game itself recommends that you play only after you cover the events of the main scenario. So, with that little tidbit of information in mind, if any of you wants to avoid any potential spoilers for the main game, along with uh, James's journey through Sound Hill, I urge you to either just check out my uh, Let's Play on the main scenario proper, or play the game yourself, because I am not going to keep my mouth shut on any spoilers for the main story whatsoever while I'm playing the sub-scenario, Born from a Wish. So you have been warned. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it, so... So yeah, we're going to uh, do the sub-scenario. Born from a wish. I'm going to select the hard action level just to keep things interesting, much like I did with the main scenario proper. When I woke up, I was all alone. Everyone's gone. Is it because of those monsters? What do I do now? Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? I don't have any reason to go on living. scared to die. I'm so afraid of pain. Should I run away? I want to find somebody. I don't like being alone. But... But is there anyone left alive? That's the number one question, isn't it? So, for the sub-scenario, we are playing as Maria rather than James, or any of the other characters for that matter. So, what exactly is, does uh, this little scenario where you're playing as Maria have to do with uh, the main scenario, how it ties into everything? Well. We're going to find that out as we continue on playing. So, Maria! How are you doing? You know, besides the obvious. I mean, clearly you're not too happy about your situation right now, and frankly, I don't really... Sorry, I don't really blame you for that. But one question I have here is... Well, why didn't... Why didn't you keep your revolver when you met James? I think you would have been a lot more useful if you had some means of defending yourself. It's locked. Someone has stuck a gum into the lock. I can't open it from this side. So that was what was blocking this door. 
Still, how the hell did you manage to get a gum out? I mean, it can't exactly be easy to do that. I mean, it sticks. Okay, we were just in here. So clearly we got nobody here, which I guess is plainly obvious because, well, this is Silent Hill we're talking about. Company is not exactly in uh, high numbers. We got a first aid kit and a Chinese cleaver. A revolver does not carry 10 bullets. That is physically impossible. Just saying. Also, it's kind of interesting how there was only one bullet here in the chamber. Kind of makes you think. Now, why would that be? And Chinese cle cleaver. Square-bladed knife. Ugly, but powerful and easy to use. Now, wouldn't it have been useful if James had someone like this? So, Maria, you wake up in town of Silent Hill and you found that you were all alone. So, I, if I had to guess, that was probably around the time when uh, James enter when James enters Silent Hill, en enters Silent Hill, because you. Uh oh. I had a pull to protect me. Isn't that just convenient? I mean, inconvenient for you, but for me. I am not complaining. You know, for something powerful, this cleaver, you take a lot of punishment from a cleaver. So, anyway, James is probably out in the outskirts of town somewhere, or at least making his way to, uh,. Or at least making his way into the town, probably right as we speak. While I, as Maria, am just wandering around doing my own thing, trying to find any anybody that I can find. Any survivors of this terrible situation that we found ourselves in. There's nothing for me to do here. Well, that's unfortunate. Would have been interesting to play the sun to play the hospital segment with with only you. Okay, uh I don't think I will want to really mess with uh these guys. Especially since I have limited ammunition and there's three of them in one area. Okay, there was What were you looking at exactly? Okay, there it is. Again, it would have been nice if you were a little uh, more willing to have any items or weapons on you when you met James. It would have been quite as annoying to have you around. But, alas. It clearly wasn't meant to be. How the hell did you get up there? What are you doing, you silly freak of nature, you? You're not gonna find prey up there.
Do you need any help getting down? I mean, I don't think a ladder would really do you a whole lot of good here. Like, maybe if I could find, like, a slide or something, you could just slither your way down, but... Eh. I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, you found... A, you managed to find a way up there somehow, so I'm sure you're clever enough to find a way back down if you really wanted to. You do you, oh genius among the armless freaks. You certainly run slower than uh, James does, that's for sure. Which is, which I find interesting because I remember you being able to uh, pretty much keep pace with, keep pace with him, even after long, even with long treks. So, pretty interesting difference. Will you go down already? Again, for a cleaver, it seems kind of weak. I'm going to be able to find. Probably not a whole lot, if I had to guess. Probably going to find, like, what? Maybe four or five more uh, boxes of revolver rounds and maybe a health item or two here and there. Because memory serves... The segment of the town that I can explore is not exactly very big for here in the sub-scenario. Finally, a weak one. I bet this is going to say that can't go through here for some reason. Looks like the lock is broken. No, it's just broken. It'll probably magically fix itself later. I think we can at least confirm one thing. All the, bro all the broken doors in this town are broken because they choose to be. Not because of decay or human hands or anything of the sort. It's just the doors are all alive, they have personalities of their own, and they all like being broken like the rest of this town. But can we really expect anything else? It's a broken town. Hope I can find at least a couple more boxes of revolver rounds somewhere close by. Because 30 rounds is very minuscule in my book. I think it would have been. Uh oh. I kind of want to explore this little part. Ow, oh, you son of a bitch. 
How dare you? Now, it would, it would be interesting if, uh... You could, uh, play, uh... As either, uh... Angela or... Eddie. A.K.A. as I called them in the main game. Naifu and Boulder. Now, this certainly wasn't here before. Intestines and blood marks. Kind of giving me flashbacks to Silent Hill 1 all over again. But it's kind of got backwards, I think. Because in that game, you see blood and intestines and, and other remains of a corpse before things really start getting freaky and dangerous. But here, things already are freaky and dangerous. I just played Silent Hill 1 and I'm already missing playing it. Because I really like that game more than I think I do. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Sorry, I uh... Uh oh. Oh fuck. I just cornered myself. This is not good. Ow. Uh, okay, you're gonna be, uh, right on the other side of the fence, okay. You just... What are you doing? Attack! There we go. Okay, how's my health? Oh, shit. Took a freaking beating. Now, can I attack you through this wall? Of course not. Ow. You're making me regret some of my life choices, and I don't like it. So I'm gonna make you regret yours even more. Well, I'm back in the green at least, and I came out with more ammunition than when I than when I entered, so I guess it's something at least. Wait a minute. That's interesting. I don't remember spatters of blood forming anytime I stepped over a monster's corpse as James. I'm not gonna lie, kind of, uh, it's kind of silly to look at. It's a bizarre little thing. I wonder if it's those high heels. They just hit them in all the right spots every time she takes a step on them and it just causes blood to spurt out of them like an anime character. You don't fuck with high heels, I guess. Silent Hill. Uh oh. Hey! I don't feel like playing with you, so fuck off. It would be useful to have a radio. I mean, I guess it's not too bad here. I mean, I can at least hear them coming just by the sounds of their footsteps, but still. Okay, you. what are you looking at? Okay, we got that. Uh-oh. You 
You should have attacked me when you had the chance. Woe be to you. Well, I don't think this was here. This, uh, wall. Oh. Uh, okay, you just hold still and let me swipe at you. Not that I want to, not that I want to find out, but I can only imagine how painful it is to actually get whacked repeatedly with a cleaver. I mean, those, these things are basically built to cut through flesh and bone. So, I mean, God help you if you're ever on the receiving end of one. That's all I can say. So we got 61 bullets, including the four I got in my gun, so 65 total. I got two first aid kits and one health drink. I think I'm okay, all things considered. Anyway, we uh, got this little bloody trail and this door is slightly ajar. We weren't able to go through here in the main game, so... Let's see what's beyond this door. It's gotta be something interesting. Why did I... Why didn't you... Number one. That's pretty creepy music that was just playing. And number two, Maria, when I push the back button, I expect you to at least stop moving and then start backing up, not just wait a second to actually do so. You just put yourself in danger. Astute observation, Maria. He is indeed definitely dead. And one thing I definitely notice, one thing you can definitely notice with, with a lot of these corpses around town if you pay close attention, and I chose not to comment on them while playing the main game for a reason, is that many of the corpses throughout town wear the exact, seem to wear similar, if not the exact same kind of clothing that James does. Probably because the town is pro was is probably trying to fuck was pro trying to fuck with him in subtle ways, would be my guess. But uh, yeah, I I chose to keep silent about that particular little detail just in case it might have tipped some of you guys off here that there was something being tailored to uh, Jane to James specifically even as early as when he first entered the town. Looks like the lock is broken. Anyway, this is a nice little mansion that we seem to have found ourselves in. It doesn't look like it's uh, rotting or falling apart, actually. I would like to hang out in a little room like this. It's very cozy looking. There's nothing inside. Too bad. It's a painting of flowers. So it is. And this door is just plain locked and we got a globe here. It's the model of the earth. I've got no use for that. Oh, come on. Don't you want to learn where some of the continents are? Interesting spot for a goat head. Anyway, we got a save. We got a save point right here. Our first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a save slot right here. We're in the mansion living room. 
So, who's the, who's the lovely owner of this magnificent structure that we found ourselves in? Do you have any tea? The fireplace is boarded off. Do not use is written on it. Well, what's the point of having a fireplace if you're not going to use it? Seems like a waste. Well, we found the map for this place. At least the servants seem to uh, get some reasonably sized rooms. The Baldwin house map. Well, we, we at least got a name that we can attribute to the owners of this place. Baldwin. I've got no reason to use the phone. Sure you do. Call the National Guard. There's some spooky shit happening in this place. It's a still life painting. A display of decorative plates. Not terribly interesting. Yeah, I'm not really the sort of person who I think who would have decorative plates in his home. Ever. I'd much rather have figurines and stuff like that. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a nerd. I can't tell if that's some kind of book or a board game. I guess it doesn't really matter. Finally, a door that's not busted or locked. Broken. So, seriously, anybody home? I'm getting plenty of revolver bullets. How many do I have right? I already almost have a hundred bullets. Eh. I'll just hold off on healing for now. I don't think I'm that bad. Locked. Got another phone right here. Is somebody there? Apparently. Open up. Hello? Stop it. You're disturbing me. Hello, somebody. <gasps> Thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? No. Why not? Why? <sighs> Is it really necessary for me to answer all your tedious questions? Yes. You're an impatient fellow. Oh. I didn't know that. Sarcastic one, too. I want to be alone. Other people just irritate me. I just want to see another human face. Do you know what's happening in this town? There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes. I know. But, so what? It has nothing to do with me. No one here means there's no one to disturb me. But what if the monsters come in and decide to eat you? You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. <laughs> you do you, then. Crazy bastard. But how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it's we who are insane. I think you certainly are. Both of us. Hopelessly insane. Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? My name is Maria. 
What's your name? Ernest. Hemingway? <laughs> Baldwin. Ernest? I'll be back. Ernest, I haven't seen much of it yet, but I will say at least this much. I like your house. Ernest? Are you there? No. I guess not. Maybe he'll respond if you start singing Hail Mary. Get it? Hail Mary. Not dark enough for me to not see you, buddy. Nice try, though. Let's get this over with. Okay, that was easy. Hmm, someone needs to go over there and take a feather duster and clean out that chandelier. Those webs are disgusting. And we got a white board. If I ever have any balconies in a home of my own, I'm going to make sure that they're above waist height for me because a fear of mine is that I'll fall over a, a waist railing somewhere and fall to my death. Like, low, low, rail, well, low railings like these always make me nervous every time I walk by them. I mean, I guess maybe for most people, they're not that low, but... Well, I don't know. I feel differently. So we got a whiteboard. Let me look at the map. So, nothing there. Wait a minute. What about this door? Hmm. I want to double check here again just to make sure I didn't miss anything. No, doesn't look like it. So, this place has a map. I found what is obviously a puzzle piece. Queerly... Was that a gunshot I just heard? Hmm. What's that picture supposed to be? Interesting. I hear you. If you approach me, if you approach me too quickly, I'll stab you. I have a cleaver. It might take me like 20, try 20 swings to kill you, but at least it's lethal. Oh, this is open now. Well, now we know why there was a do not use door on the thing. For some reason, there's a ladder in the fireplace leading up. Along the way, I can see something that looks like a hole. Well, I would hope that there would be a hole or something leading out. Otherwise, why the hell have a ladder in a fireplace? What are you looking at? Oh, we got a red board. And 
A blackboard. Lovely garden. Strange place for one, all things considered, but lovely all the same. There's a square depression in the center of the tombstone. And above that is a carefully carved ep epitaph. Along with you died joy. All that remains is despair in a future of meaningless tomorrows. Well, that's depressing. But I will never give up. One, to see your beautiful smile again. One, to beg the blessings of the gods. I wait for that day. When the boards cover all, all sadness too will be covered. But until my dreams return to reality, I will have to swallow all the pain. There's a key firmly embedded in the stone beneath the depression. No matter how hard I try, I can't pull it out. So, let me look at this thing. Looks like a bottle. When the white breath is found, I shall dedicate this thing. O spirit of the mist, grant us fortune eternal. Is written on the back. Blackboard. Looks like a chalice. When the dark grail is found, I shall dedicate this thing. You who deny death, grant us fortune eternal. It's written on the back. Gain some ritualistic vibes from these things and what's written on them. When the crimson words are found, I shall dedicate this thing. O oh, you gods deep in slumber, grant us fortune eternal. It's written on the back. Let me put... Okay. So the, th so the little thing says... When all, when, when, er, when all the holes and all that are covered, something will, something should happen. So, let me just put this here. I'm gonna put the red one in here first. Yeah, black. Hmm. I wonder why it didn't give me the option to turn the first one. Let's insert as is. Put the blackboard into the hole. Now I just gotta cover those two holes up top. So let me look. I think I just gotta... No, 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 no. Put Take it out. No. Let me try that again. Uh, let's turn it 90 degrees to the right. Okay, never mind, I guess. Let me try the other way. Actually, no. The holes would still get. Alright, let me uh, just remove these things again. Obviously, the biggest obstacle I'm going to have to deal with is the holes up top. chalice in there. Ok, 
Okay, we still have those two holes blocked up, up there. Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to insert the whiteboard first, but I'm going to turn it sideways so I can oops, so I can block up those top poles. So actually no, I can't turn it up sideways, but either way that's irrelevant. Those two holes that keep remaining open are now blocked, so let's put the chalice in here next. Now we got those two holes. Let me try putting in the red one. Oh, damn it. Let's flip it upside down. No, it's not going to work. Flipping it, flipping it upside down doesn't work. And no, I'm going to, this isn't going to work either. Uh, let's remove this board. I think I'll try to insert this board first, well, after the white one. Now let me try turning it, actually let me insert it as is. No. Okay. Okay. You know what, actually, I'll put you back as is, and I'll flip the grail upside down. Oh, I thought I had it. Let's turn it 9 degrees to the left, and... No... I almost had it there, too. I think I should have done the right. Oh, me and my stupid... Okay. Let's... Okay, this is not working. Okay, I think I figured it out. I should insert the whiteboard as is, and then the blackboard, because the uh, what? Because the upper right portion of the whiteboard 
will cover up any holes in the black in the black grail. And I think the uh, one hole that's approaching the middle of the bottle and the whiteboard is covered would be covered by uh, the black by the black grail. So there would still be that one hole in the bottom left corner of each of each board that would still be open. So what I could do is then with with the red board being the final one insert it last and rotate it 90 degrees to the left. That should probably cover everything up, I think. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, I guess there's one hole up top here as well. Uh, let's 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 do it anyway. Okay, we did it. When the three boards overlapped, the key came free. Hell yeah. We got the Akakia key. Akakia? I I I don't know how to pronounce that. Words have been inserted, so I guess that's all we can do for now. Let's go down the ladder. So, what is this key exactly? And I'm getting tired of looking at that thing, so... Oh. There. We're green again. Engraved within... Uh, engraved within... Akakia flower. Okay, so it's a flower. Found embedded in stone slab. I'm going to assume it unlocks one of the locked doors, so... Let's try the ones up, upstairs. One down this hallway, right here. Hell of an inconvenient spot to place a key to the hallway, don't you think, Ernest? Like, honestly, it's pretty convoluted. Let me look at the map. Yeah, these are pretty narrow hallways, and I can't see what's beyond the next corner. So if there's any monsters in here, I might get ambushed. Okay, I don't see anything. Good. Lock is broken. Clearly, I'm in a kid's room. This calendar is from ten years ago. Ten years ago. November. What happened ten years ago? Stuffed animals lined the top of the shelf. Nothing very interesting. Oh, is this a teddy bear? It's not very well made, but it's sort of cute anyway. I bet Laura would love it. She loves bears. Laura? What am I talking about? I always found I find it I always found it interesting how you seem to know things that you really shouldn't know, things that only Mary would likely to be able to know, and yet you apparently do. Of course, we now know that's because well, you're basically the you're basically the replacement goldfish equivalent of Mary for James. But still. It certainly added an intriguing layer of mystery when I first played the game. Like, okay, 
are you actually like I don't know like are you actually Mary and you somehow survived and you just got amnesia or something was at least my first thought I don't know well a stupid thought I guess and but I yeah it, it was interesting doll sitting on the chair now that I look closer it's filthy whoever lived here must have really loved this thing Small bed for a small child. Indeed it is. I got matches. Only two or three matches are left. Found in kids' room. You shouldn't be giving little kids matches, Ernest. That's pretty irresponsible. Looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. The shelf is filled with fairy tales and other children's literature. I'm sure I never read this, but somehow it seems familiar. Maybe your doppelganger read it. Okay, I think we're in the clear. There's nothing dangerous here. Hmm. It really has a stairway, but we can't go through there. Oh, this widescreen hack. It's making all kinds of graphical errors. Oh, no, oh, she fell out the window! Don't move her. What happened? Uh oh. Somebody fell out the window. Somebody better call the paramedics. There's a candle here. Well, we got matches. And the Lord said, let there be light. And it was good. What a, it's a pile of junk from the spider web. It doesn't look like there's anything useful. Hmm. You sure? Why not take a closer look inside the boxes? Then again, I mean, the owner of this mansion is clearly still here, so I mean... Invasion of privacy, but, well, it is a bit of a survival situation, too, so, uh, yeah, I really wouldn't know what to do here, I mean. Books are stacked on the floor. There's nothing very interesting. I was never too interested in literature and philosophy, anyway. Then again, I have been ransacking this house for healing items and ammunition, so, I mean, since I've already gone that step... Hmm. Hey, what do we have here? There's something below the chair. Is this a birthday card? To my dearest daddy, happy birthday from Amy Baldwin. <laughs> Cute. Birthday card and present from Amy. Contents unknown. Hmm. Well. He really... What was that? Well, as I was saying, it would be rude to open up somebody else's present. So, we'll keep that a mystery. Who are you? Creepy. There's no one in here, and yet someone's talking. Spooky. To my daddy. If you mean the present, then, well... I only know of one person here who may be daddy. So... I guess maybe we should try that door that... Uh-oh. 
I knew there was something, there was something on her the instant she turned her head. Anyway, Ernest, if you're daddy, I have a present for you. You shall receive it. Lest you lest you make the lest you make the child upset. Uh oh. Oh shit. That was cool. So they're bastard. So, Ernest, you sure you want to just hold yourself up in here? Especially now that the monsters are coming in? Of course he's gone. Got a health drink, health drink. Uh, nice grandfather clock. There's a clock here. I guess it's broken. The needles aren't moving. What a shame. Alright, what are you looking at? Oh. There's nothing interesting inside or above the fireplace. Well, at least he's smart enough to have first aid kits all throughout this mansion. Looks like a botany book. There's a book here. It looks like a plant encyclopedia. A Aca um, acacia. A, a, a genus. Um, excuse me. A genus of evergreen trees, of the mimosa tribe of the pea family. Its tiny flowers are yellow or white and gr grow in clusters. Common varieties include the gum tree. The acacia tree is a potent symbol in many religions across the world. In Christianity, it represents eternal life and morality. In ancient Egypt, it represented purity and rebirth. While in ancient Babylonia, it was thought of as the tree of the godless Ishtar and was a symbol of life. It was also a holy tree to the ancient Jews who built the sacred Ark of the Covenant from it and for whom it signified a peaceful death and a release from grief. You learn something new every day. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here, so let's... Oh, you... Oh, how dare you! You don't go and carry a lady in the face! Oh, you... Okay. You are... officially earned my ire. Come on, go down! Son of a bitch. Okay. You asked for it. Great. Some of the bitches are everywhere. Hold still. Thank you. Good lord. That was a pain in the ass. Well, I can go through there again if I want. Broken. Stairway right here, and we're right in front of the guest rooms, which I'm going to guess are locked. Yep. Looks like we won't be staying over. It's a vase and a lion statue. I've got no use for those right now. Well, you can probably use the line statue as a blunt weapon. Hit these things over the head. 
Except for the except for the double-legged things. I guess you could just hit those in the crotch. They got two of them. So, I mean, two tempting targets. Oh, you son of a bitch. Really inconvenient spot to get ambushed from top of stairs. Hey, I'm not done looking in there yet. Whoa! Hi! Why did you hesitate? Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. If I run into more of you, I might as well just whip out the gun. I mean, I got plenty of ammunition. So I might as well use it. Broken. Broken. Okay, I guess we are going through here. Hmm. Looks like a piece of paper was on the ground. Got more revolver bullets. Hmm. Anything in here? Anything dangerous? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Health drink. And more bullets. Hmm. Can I go into the dining room? No dinner for me. Looks like I'm just gonna have to go on a diet of first aid kits and health drinks. There's nothing here I can use now. So yeah, this is the kitchen, yeah? No, it's the service room. Okay, the kitchen is all the way on the other side of the mansion. And hey, apparently the employees get their own kitchens. Interesting. You'd think that they would have everything all in one space, but apparently not. And again, I think a lot of old-timey homes from uh, the early colonial days up till like early civil, or up to civil war and all that stuff had layouts similar to similar to that back when uh, servant home, ser servant quarters, and all that were very common. I need to brush up on my old history when it comes to that stuff, but. Yeah, I, I do think that was a pretty common thing back then. Anyway, we got a safe spot here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode off here. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this latest episode of Silent Hill 2. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.